Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Zarnik bringing you another Hex Alpha matchup. Uh, today I am playing my mill deck. Um, sure, why not? Let's keep this. And so uh, this is a deck that I wanted to make for a very long time uh, before I even got into the Alpha. And so basically what it does is it tries to deck out your opponent. It tries to bring them down to zero cards, and then their next turn they go to draw a card, they can't, so they lose the game. Um, currently, I really don't think it's very good. Uh, the way this ends up ultimately playing is like a control deck with a win condition on Siphon Life. So I have it in here to keep myself alive while I mill people, uh, but it often turns out that it takes just so long to mill somebody that I just end up winning with that card anyway. So, I mean, a win to win. Uh, it's not exactly how I designed this deck to win. So I'm using this uh, champion here. What he does is, for every time I play two lands, so every time I build up two of these charge powers, uh, I can actually mill three cards from his deck, which is, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I'm also using this card for the first time. This is the Black Escalation card. Uh, it's a draw spell, uh, but what's really kind of badass is you are drawing from your opponent's deck. So it acts as a mill, which is why I have it in here. It acts as a draw card, and uh, who knows what kind of goodies you're, you're going to get from them. So I mean, worst case scenario, I'm milling them, which is what I want. And uh, best case scenario, I steal something that's actually pretty good and I get to play it. Uh, here we go. So this is what I want. This is kind of what the deck is based off, which is the blue Escalation card, Chronic Madness. So it buries the top four cards of their deck, and it has the Escalation, so it's going to go four cards, then eight cards, and twelve cards. Uh, so hopefully you want to get it several times uh, in a game. And actually this deck kind of requires that you do that. But I have a lot of draw mechanics that you will see. So this is me just using my... Um, so looking at his graveyard here, it looks like he has kind of like a small green deck. This guy is really good but a lot of small green creatures, so maybe some kind of like green aggro deck. So it's a really good sign that he didn't play one drop, if that's the case. And wow, wow, we're all four of these, re I think all four of those are resources, that's kind of ridiculous. Um, hopefully, hopefully he's resource screwed, or at least he will be. So like I said, this place is a control deck, so I have a couple like uh, extinctions and stuff in here, things that will just clear the board of creatures. So what what you can lose to is like a really good red and green deck uh, if they're on the play. So if they get the first turn, they can... Some of the really good ones, if they have like a perfect hand, can kill you in like four turns. So that's, that's probably a really tough matchup for this deck. The fact that we've gone two turns without him playing something is just a tremendously good sign for this deck. Okay, so I think what we're going to do, let's use this. So we're going to draw a card from his deck, and we're going to see... Yes! That is sweet. Okay. Was kind of hoping for uh, an awesome creature. But as you can see, apparently, uh, you know, things don't always work out exactly as you'd like. Bright side, we milled him one card. Uh, we got this wild shard, so I guess if we really need resources later, we'll be playing that. Oh. Crash of Beast is a super good card. So that's the green escalation card where he's going to build, he's going to create a rhino. Uh, then the next time he plays it, it creates two rhinos, then it creates three rhinos, and that's just really good. Okay, so this is exactly what I want. So this destroys all troops. Um, now we're not in a situation where I'm really scared yet. Uh, you see, every time I play two lands, I build up enough charge powers to mill him. Okay, so I'm going to Oracle on myself. So that's going to just a basic draw spell. And go away. Go away. Uh, and we drew. Let's see, we drew a fate rack. Another resource. Okay. So this artifact I use a lot 
Uh, it basically lets me cycle through my deck. I get to draw a card, then discard a card. So I, I really get to look for the cards that I want. And this artifact is like is a mill artifact. So you got all these obviously uh, tentacly snake things just gagging this guy, I guess. That's how I would draw somebody getting milled, I suppose. So again, I want to hold on to this because I don't want to waste it to just kill one creature. I want to I want to look like I'm actually in trouble. Oh, like this. This is a really good troop. So I might I might be uh Yeah, we might be using escalation next turn. Because these things are going to get out of control. So while root roots answer every time you play a resource, you get to give somebody permanent plus 2 plus 2. Uh the fact that he only has a one green threshold so means you can pretty much put him in any two color deck and not really worry about it. Uh, this guy's playing mono green so not like it makes a difference but he, it's just a really good card. It'll probably... if it doesn't get nerfed before uh, the end of alpha I'd be pretty impressed. Okay so we're gonna mill. So now since I've already used this card once and it has escalation you see now it's going to mill the top eight cards. And if we are ever lucky enough to draw that guy again, it's going to mill the top 12. So you see we are, we're going at a good pace here. Oh, look at this. This card's really good. I'm glad we got rid of this. Where'd it go? Uh, Spirit Dance. Look at this guy. So this is, this is something you might be used to being like an enchantment in like Magic the Gathering, but in this digital card game, you just play this card. Bam five on your turn it makes every card in your deck troop cost two less to play and gets permanent plus two plus two this card is a absolute beast um oh yeah and we're gonna do a little extinction clear the board uh because if he plays another resource he'll be swinging for seven with just that and then he can swing again for the root dancer so that's minimum uh swinging for nine and I just can't put up with that right now. So we're using that at 33, it's about halfway milled uh, on our fifth turn. So as you see, like these, this mill deck uh, is slow. It's missing what I think is going to be a huge component. There's a creature that you can play for either one or two, and he's a 1-1. One, one. And what he does is instead of dealing combat damage to an opponent, he instead mills that many cards off of the top of their deck. And he gets a uh, plus three plus three as long as they have ten cards in their graveyard. So he becomes a four four. So you could swing with him and mill for four every turn with the creature, assuming he doesn't get blocked. Okay, so this guy's this is another good creature. Green green has a lot of neat crush creatures. So this is good news. So we are going to uh I guess we'll play this this turn. Play the secret lab. We will use our champion power to mill. And we're going to hold on to murder. Murder is our probably our best removal here. So we just quick action, destroy target troop. So I'm going to wait. Uh, because there are... Uh, I, I guess even if he has the 4-4 four, four with haste that shuffles back into his deck, I suppose I would still kill this guy because he's actually like a constant threat. But he could play something else better that I might want to murder. Because right now with this attacking for 3... I'm on a five turn clock before I die. So hopefully I can make some moves in five turns. And I'll definitely do it if he uses his champion power to give this guy plus two plus two because we really don't want to be dealing with that. Oh. So now this is this is where it gets annoying because like I have to kill this guy because by himself he will kill me but the root dancer is just such a powerful card that it just it just drives me crazy that I have to deal with multiple of those in a game it's nuts so he's attacking in response we're going to murder save me the five damage and I mean worst case scenario we do have life siphon in our back pocket here so I can on my turn spend all of them and gain my six health and do six damage
And so you can see why like black control decks or black and something else are very good. Because if I was actually doing any sort of damage to him along the way, uh, you can see how I could probably do some damage with this. Okay, so we're going to Relentless Corruption. So now I get to draw two cards from his deck. Sweet. Uh, this is actually going to help me out a lot. This is the one one that you could tap for mana. So that'll be an extra one damage that I could do with Siphon Life. It'll be an extra thing that I could do with uh, the Fate Rack. Okay, so... All is not lost. We're actually, go we're actually doing pretty well. The longer the game goes, uh, as long as they don't have a huge kind of like threat on their board, I feel pretty good. And now we're going to have the ability to cycle out cards that we don't like. So if we start drawing uh, crap, we're just going to get rid of it. Like, we don't need any more lands in this, or uh, resources, I mean. So if we start drawing more resources, we're just going to trade them out for better things. And so this is a totally worthless card against me, because he's just going to be gaining three health, like that. Oh no! Um, all the health in the world isn't going to help you uh, against a mill deck, which is, I guess, good. And as you notice, he can't buff himself. So that's why nothing really happened there. Okay, we're just going to let him swing for two. And uh, worst case scenario, I'm going to have this guy up as a kind of chump blocker. If he drops something big that I need to uh, just kind of stave off. Oh, we have another extinction too, so that's going to be good. So let's... Let's first Fate Rack. Now, I would use Secret Laboratory, but honestly, I don't know what else I'd want to have in my hand besides a Life Siphon and an Extinction. So, it's really just going to make... It's really just going give to give me a really hard choice. Um, again, I'm not going to attack. Because, again, I'm not going to kill him. I'm, it's going to take me 22, 23 turns to kill him with this guy. So, like, that's not really going to be an option. Uh, I can keep him up in case he drops one of those uh, Wildebores, which are the 4 forward with haste. So I can chump block some damage if need be. Especially because he could play a Wildebeest, play a land. Okay. So now, that's the second Crash of Beast that he's played. So now it creates two Rhinos. As you can see, that is pretty sweet. Um, so I'm going to chump block here. Uh, I don't care that I uh, am going to lose him because I'm just going to extinction next turn. So all I'm really doing is saving myself two health. Okay, this is good news. This is one of my favorite little guys. Uh, you get to sacrifice it to uh, gain one health, draw a card, and charge your champion. And so I will be able to do that, and it'll bring me down to four, which is still enough to use extinction. I will gain my health, I will charge my champion, so that I can now use my charge power. We drew another Relentless Corruption, so now next turn I'm going to be able to draw three cards from his deck and hope to god I'm going to get something playable. I would really like a Crash of Beasts. Uh, have I gotten anything useful from him? Or has it all been... It was two green lands and the 1-1 the one one that you could tap for lands, so... This guy's been let me down. At least the artwork is uh, totally badass on this. Look at this guy. So he's still at 23. Uh, this this gentleman here, uh, Silverthorn, is not happy with me. Uh, lucky son of a bitch. Uh, oh, I'm, I, I put that back up. I'm, I want to know what this guy is saying. Oh, I would have two of those. Yeah. I don't think he's happy, uh, the state that he's in. And uh, really having two extinctions is very common for me to have in this deck because I do run four of them. And I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of cards that let me draw and just cycle through my deck. 
Okay, so this guy is socketed with spell shield, so we're not going to be able to target him with anything. Uh, however, he is still affected by extinction, which is worth noting. If I ever, if I get a third extinction in this game, this guy is probably going to flip out and rage quit because he's 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 grumpy enough. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna see what we get for him. We're gonna draw three cards from his deck. Okay, uh, and we're going to Let's see. We have four resources to play with, so what I can do is I can. So I'm gonna fate rack him. So we're gonna mill him for three. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this guy as a chump blocker, and he also has the ability so that when he comes into play, I get to draw a card. Okay. So we haven't played a resource turn. We'll do that. We will draw a card with this because, uh, well, I can, and I can dump one of these resources. Oh, look at all these resources that we don't want. Get rid of the green one. Don't care. And I also have another life-gaining spell now. So now I can play this guy, gain myself three health, and I can chump block next turn. So we, we have this guy locked up for the next two turns, so I'm not too afraid. Uh, if he's running, there is a uh, there's a quick action that costs four that will give it permanent plus two plus two and crush so it'll kind of trample through this guy and damage me then we're gonna have to start making oh here it is wow what do you know about that it's like I can read mine so now we're gonna have uh, now we're gonna have some moves to make um, we're gonna be looking for removal next turn uh, murder's not gonna help us because he is he has spell shield now he's at 19, so we could get lucky with some draws and possibly mill him this turn. We'd have to kind of get a lot. I'll drop a land, I'll have three from the champion power. That's 16. If I get a... This, that's 12. Ladies and gentlemen, we might, we might be able to pull this off. So that's 12, that's going to bring him to 7. This will kill 3 or two rather. This will kill three, so that's five. Mm. We're getting pretty close. So we do want to play this, and we do want to use our champion power, so that's another three, so it's going to bring it down to four, so it's still not good enough. So he can swing for six. Uh, which will put us at three. Um, the best pump spell really in the game will give him like plus seven, plus seven, but nobody plays it because it's too expensive. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, I'm worried about the 4-4 four, four with haste. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna look for a card. Maybe we can get a mill card and have this be GG. Uh, we do not have a mill card. Uh, we can relentless corruption him. So we're gonna draw. Oh, we're gonna draw all the cards off of his deck. So I lied. It is a mill card. So we're gonna draw all the cards off of his deck. Oh, what would be really funny is that he doesn't have enough cards for me to draw. So that just didn't work. Okay, so now we're going to play the Witch. I'm going to gain three health. I'm going to have a Chump Blocker for one more turn. And we will be able to mill him uh, next turn with Fate Rack. And we're going to win this game unless he uh, unless he makes some plays right now. Oh, there we go. So he saw the gravity of the situation. He couldn't kill me that turn. I would have milled him out. Uh, really, there aren't any easy wins with this deck. They all seem to come down with that. That's actually the most health I've ever had at the end of the game is 12. Uh, I usually win with this deck with about four health left um, or I lose in spectacular fashion but this is this deck's very, definitely very fun to play uh, and I look forward to getting the rest of the alpha cards out 
so that I can put that cool creature in there and just keep adjusting it because I love winning by non-traditional means like that. But at least we get to see a win today. That's great. All right, I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much. Take care.